Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. We recently returned home from our Disney vacation. We had such a wonderful time, but today we are at home unpacking, cleaning, and getting back into the swing of things. So I thought I would film a day in the life video for you guys so you can see our typical day, our typical routine. I hope that you guys enjoy this. If you'd like to see more day in the life vlogs on my channel, let me know in the comment section below. The first thing we do in the morning after showering and getting ready for the day is have breakfast. Bubba typically eats two eggs scrambled, some kind of berry, and a yogurt. He has a pretty big breakfast. He does know how to blow on his food to cool it down, so he's been <laughs> cooling down his eggs. But that is what he's eating, and I'm just gonna have some coffee. I really enjoy drinking iced coffee, but I don't like making coffee in my Keurig and then adding ice to it because then it just tastes like watered down coffee. So I make my coffee the night before. I thought I would walk you guys through the process of how I make my coffee. So a lot of you know that I cannot have caffeine. It just doesn't uh, react well with my body. So I drink decaf coffee. I honestly just like the taste of it. So I get the uh, Starbucks decaf house blend. I get mine at Target, but I've seen them at places like TJ Maxx, um, Home Goods, things like that if you want to get them a little bit cheaper. So at night, I will make my coffee, and I like the caramel white chocolate mochas from Starbucks. So I got this Giardelli white chocolate flavored sauce on Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys. And what I do is I basically just take a mug. How cute is this travel mug? And then I will, so for a grande iced caramel white mocha at Starbucks, they do four pumps white chocolate, four pumps caramel. So I typically just do like one squirt, two squirts, I go up to four. And then I will just take this Starbucks, Starbucks Starbucks caramel flavoring that I picked up at Walmart. I'm sure they probably have this on Amazon too. I will try and find a link for it. I do the same thing, just kind of do four quick little dabs of that. Then I will put um, all of that under the Keurig, make the coffee, stir it up, let it sit for room temperature for, I don't know, about a half hour. Then I pop the entire mug in the refrigerator, and in the morning I will just take it out and add some milk to it. So that is what I'm drinking this morning. I don't add ice because it's already pretty cold from sitting in the refrigerator overnight, but I thought I would share that little Starbucks at home with you guys. I actually do have a Starbucks at home video that I will link. It is gotten crazy views which is insane you just never know what's going to be popular here on youtube but that is how i make my coffee so typically he eats breakfast i drink some coffee and while i am sipping on my coffee i clean up the kitchen so we like to run our dishwasher at night so i will unload the dishes from the night before and then reload anything that may be left in the sink so i'm going to do that now i might put on some christmas music or a youtube video and get that done while he eats now that our kitchen is clean, it is time to focus on the next mess, which is our family room. And for the sake of keeping this vlog as real life as possible, I thought I would share with you a quick before. So we did just return home from our Walt Disney World vacation. That is why the suitcase is out. I am still working on unpacking everything. I did take all of our dirty clothes out and wash all that. I still need to fold it, but as you can tell, Still need to finish unpacking. My husband bought himself some new shoes, so those are right there. I have shoes on the floor. Remy's just laying, chilling. Bubba has toys everywhere, books everywhere. He, as you guys can tell, he likes having his toys out, so I need to put those away. What's the matter? Uh, over here we have some clean laundry that needs to be folded. Uh, an ice pack that I think the baby found in the suitcase and handed to me. That is my laptop cooling desk. Uh, over here I have a Bobby at Home cookbook. My mom and I and Bubba actually went to meet Bobby Flay last night at Williams and Sonoma and we got a signed copy of his new cookbook so I was looking through that last night. Bubba's shoes are randomly there. Here's a better look at our suitcase. Uh, David's shoes are everywhere, dog toys everywhere, Bubba's toys everywhere. Um, so I'm going to clean this up and typically I would do a, I would put my camera on a tripod and do a sped up cleaning little segment so you guys could see that. But I have a little one that can't be shown on the internet and he is done eating and wants to run around. So I will not be doing that, but here is the before. Here's the after. It took me a few short minutes to get everything unpacked and straightened up. I still have a box of shoes here. Those need to be returned, but it feels nice to have everything back in its place. When Bubba finishes his breakfast, I get him dressed for the day. Since we're just hanging out at home today, I'm gonna to put him in a onesie so he's nice and comfortable. 
I have gotten a lot of questions about how I store his clothing, so I thought I would quickly share that with you. For his onesies, I just have them in a dresser that has his changing table on top for easy access. The rest of his clothing is in his closet. I picked up these two bin, they're like plastic bin drawer organizers. I got them from Target. In here, this top drawer, I have all of his t-shirts. They're folded, I guess you could say, like the Marie Kondo way, so we can easily see all of them. Sorry for Bubba, he's very vocal today. But those are all his shirts. I do sometimes have a hard time closing this drawer for some reason. Down here, we have all of his shorts that are folded in a similar fashion, so we can easily see everything. And then the bottom drawer has his jeans, sweatpants, and just other long pants. I have two of these, so this next one, this top drawer is mainly his Disney drawer, so like his stroller fan, these are for the fireworks show, things like that, because we go to Disney so often I figured I would just have a dedicated drawer for that. Then we have long sleeves and jackets, which we don't typically need as much here in South Florida. And then this bottom one is for all of his shoes, which are kind of unorganized because he's been going through there because he loves shoes. Huh, Bubba? Are those your shoes? He loves wearing shoes. So that is how I store most of his clothing. On top of these bins, I have these little white bins that I also got from Target. And this one is just kind of like miscellaneous toys. And then this one is all of his trucks and tractors and trailers. So that is how I stored that as well. Once Bubba has eaten and gotten dressed, he just plays with whatever he wants to. I give him some toys that he can play with. He also likes to pet Remy and play with her. He brings all of her toys over to her and they play. I think she's a little tuckered out from playtime this morning. But he just spends a little while playing, watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and just hanging out. It is now almost 11.45. I typically put Bubba down for a nap at noon. Right before he goes down for a nap, I like to make my lunch. That way, as soon as I put him in his crib, I can eat and then get started on my nap time hustle. My nap time hustle usually includes editing a video, filming a video, working on a blog post, anything that has to do with my online presence. Today, I actually need to work on our budget. I haven't had time to do that, so I'm gonna eat lunch, work on our budget, and then hopefully have some time to work on a blog post. I have been thinking about doing an updated Dave Ramsey cash envelope system video. If you guys would be interested in seeing that, let me know. I also have a few things that I might give away in that video that might be helpful if you guys are doing the cash envelope system as well. So if you'd be interested, let me know. But I'm going to head into the kitchen, make my lunch, and I will share with you guys what I'm having today. I typically eat the same exact thing for lunch every single day. I have been on a Cobb salad kick for the longest time. I started ordering Cobb salads at Duffy's, which is one of our favorite sports bars, and I decided to start making their salad at home because I just loved it so much. So I make a Cobb salad of sorts without the chicken and without bacon. So I usually use an entire bag of this Fresh Express sweet butter lettuce. I get this at Publix and I usually get it when they are on sale, buy one, get one free or two for six because they can be quite expensive. But that's the kind of lettuce I like to use. I also pick up the hard boiled eggs from Trader Joe's. It's just easier for me just to grab a bag of already boiled eggs. So I put one of those in my salad. I do one tomato, half a cucumber, and then a little bit of the light ranch dressing. Typically I like to use blue cheese dressing, but that is a little bit higher in calories. So I do stick with this when I make it at home. If I am ordering it out, I do get blue cheese because it is so good. I also like to add some steak into my salad every once in a while. If my husband and I make steak for dinner, I will save half of my steak eat half for dinner, and then put the second half in a salad for lunch the next day. And when I do that, I love adding blue cheese because that is just so good, one of my favorite meals. So that is what I'm having for lunch today. And like I said, this is my typical lunch, pretty much what I eat every afternoon. My salad is made, it looks super delicious. I'm excited to sit down and eat it. I did skip breakfast this morning because nothing really sounded good. So I'm pretty hungry, so I'm excited to eat that. And then with it, I am having this drink. I believe it's pronounced Tapo Traco, but I'm probably wrong, let me know if I am. I have been hearing about this water all over Instagram and I wasn't sure what the hype was, but when I hear about something enough, I have to try it for myself. So I saw this at Publix. It is just a carbonated mineral water from Mexico and I had one the other day and I totally understand the hype now. It is so good. If you're into carbonated beverages, definitely try this out. Bubba's going a little crazy with the Tupperware. Um, but this is so good because a lot of sparkling waters, if you get a flavored one, they kind of have a weird aftertaste. 
I don't know. This one does not at all. It is literally just mineral water and carbon dioxide to make a bubbly. It is so good, super carbonated. I definitely recommend checking it out. So this is gonna be my lunch for today. I'm gonna get Bubba situated, get him down for a nap, head into my office, have some lunch, and get some work done. It is now 2.45, Bubba just woke up from his nap. Long naps are always appreciated. While he was sleeping, I had lunch, I worked on our budget, watched a few YouTube videos, did a little bit of computer work. I have a little bit of a headache today, so I didn't work on a blog post like I wanted to because I didn't think it was something that I could just focus on today. So instead of doing that, I went into our bathroom, did a quick declutter of our bathroom vanity. I know you guys like watching declutter videos, but I didn't film any of that because it was super quick, nothing special, just got rid of a couple things. And then after I finished that, I got in bed and and caught up on the last episode of Jersey Shore. That is one of my guilty pleasures. I have been watching the Jersey Shore since it first aired. So I caught up on that and then as soon as that was over, Bubba woke up, so it was perfect timing. Now that he is up from his nap, I can work in the kitchen without having to worry about waking him up. Tomorrow we go to mom's group, which is always fun. It's something I always look forward to. It is once a week. And this week I'm responsible for bringing a baked good. I went to Trader Joe's the other day and was looking at their baking mixes and I found this pumpkin bread and muffin mix that looks delicious. It says just add eggs, oil, and water so I'm going to make this to bring to mom's group in the morning. And then I also found this one as well. It is a cinnamon crumb coffee cake mix and I love coffee cake. I think it is absolutely amazing. So I was trying to decide which one I wanted to bring but since it's October I thought we would go fall themed and make the pumpkin bread. So I'm gonna work on that now and hopefully it is delicious. The pumpkin bread is in the oven baking. It smells absolutely amazing. It smells like Thanksgiving day in our home. Hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. While that's baking, Bubba is having some lunch. We're starting with PB&J, which he absolutely loves. I just pulled the pumpkin bread out of the oven. It cooked for 55 minutes. I wish you guys could smell this. It is absolutely amazing. If I'm just going on scent, I would say run to Trader Joe's and pick this up because it smells so good. I cannot wait to break into it and try it out and let you guys know what I think. I cannot smell this pumpkin cake any longer without trying it. So I'm cutting it up so I can put it on a platter and a little piece broke off. So I think it's just meant to be. I'm gonna try it out. First impressions, here we go. Mm. Ah, I just lost it. Look, I didn't land on the floor. Mmm. <laughs> that is so, so good. I think it would have been good. I don't know. I feel like the outside's a little bit crunchy. The inside is super soft and moist, which is probably the way that it should be. But I feel like if I cooked it like maybe five minutes less, it might be even better. But it is delicious. It smells amazing. Go to Trader Joe's, pick up a box. It was super easy to make. It came out of the tin fairly easy, so I always appreciate that. Highly recommend. Here's my pumpkin bread cut up and ready to serve. I just have it on my Ray Dunn serving platter. I think it's absolutely delicious. I'm excited to bring it with me tomorrow and hopefully my mom's group enjoys it as much as I do. I have you guys propped up in my kitchen cabinet and I'm standing on my tippy toes trying to make this setup work. Now that my pumpkin bread is out of the oven, I'm gonna get started on dinner. My husband David requested that I make spaghetti for dinner this evening. I love when he requests spaghetti because not only do I really enjoy eating it, I also love that it's super simple to cook. I just brown the meat, throw in a jar of spaghetti sauce, some spices, boiled noodles, and it's done. So I love that. So I'm gonna get started on my sauce, and you all probably know if you've been watching me for any length of time that I really enjoy having a glass of wine while I cook dinner, especially Italian food. So this evening, I'm having a glass of this Secco wine from Trader Joe's, and it's a Prosecco. It is so good. It would be good with some orange juice for a mimosa in the morning, but I just like it by itself. I think it is so good. It's around five or six dollars, so Go try this out, it's amazing. And then while I was there the other evening, I found this Secco and it is cranberry flavor and I thought I would try it because this sounds like it would be really good for the holiday season. I'm um, having this with Thanksgiving dinner, so I'm gonna try it out, I'll let you know what I think, but this one is amazing. Definitely go pick up a bottle for yourself. So I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine and get started on dinner, he should be home soon. I'm starving, I cannot wait to eat. 
It is now 6.30, David just got home from work. He's in the shower. Our dinner is almost ready. The sauce is good to go. The noodles have one more minute, then I'm gonna combine the two and we're gonna sit down and have dinner together. That's it for today's vlog. We're gonna sit down, eat some dinner, spend some family time, and then get Bubba ready for bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this day in the life. They are a little bit harder to film now that I have a little one that I'm not able to show on the internet, but I hope that you still enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this on my channel, let me know in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You can also find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook. All those links will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone!